Moving on to second question. If E, F, G, H or respectively the midpoints of sides of parallelogram A, B, C, D show that area of E, F, G, H is equal to half of area of A, B, C, D. Now moving on to the solution. Let us consider a parallelogram A, B, C, D with midpoints E, F, G, H on the sides A, B, B, C and C, D respectively as shown in figure. Now we are required to prove that area of EFGH is equal to half times area of ABCD. So in order to prove this, let us initially join EF, FH, HG and EG and also join EH. We know that in parallelogram AD is parallel to BC since opposite sides are parallel and are also equal which implies as E is a midpoint of AD we can write AD as 2 times AE is parallel to BC is parallel to AD and now we know that H is a midpoint of BC so we can write BC as 2 times BH which implies AE is parallel to BH and also we know that EH as passing through the midpoints of AE and BH EH also will be parallel to AB and here AE HB is a parallelogram here if we consider ABH as a parallelogram and EFH is a triangle in it here both the parallelogram and triangle lie in between two parallel lines AB and EH and also they have common base EH we know that area of triangle is half the area of parallelogram when they both lie about the common base and two common parallels here the parallelogram EFEH and triangle EFH lie in between the two common parallels that is AB and EH and they lie about the common base EH therefore we can say area of triangle that is EFH is equal to half times area of parallelogram that is AEHB Similarly, if we consider parallelogram EHCD, we get area of triangle EGH is equal to half the area of parallelogram EHCD. Let this be as equation number 1 and this be as equation number 2. Now adding 1 and 2 we get area of EFH triangle plus area of triangle EGH is equal to half times the area of parallelogram AEHB plus area of parallelogram EHCD that is here area of triangle EFH and area of triangle EGH is equal to the area covered under the figure EFGH which is equal to half times 
area of parallelogram AEBH and area of parallelogram HCD gives the area of total parallelogram ABCD. Therefore, finally we can say that area of EFGH is equal to half times area of parallelogram ABCD. This is whatever required proof and it is hence proved.